Welcome to the $2 fidget spinner review. I'm Magenta Monkey. Welcome to the video. Before we get into the video, guys, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Magenta Monkey underscore YT. As many of you know, the new biggest craze going on right now in the world is fidget spinners. There's many different fidget spinners out there, so I am here to help you guys make the decision on which fidget spinner you want to buy. These fidget spinners can range in prices from $1 to $100. Today we'll be reviewing the $2 fidget spinner. We will be rating this fidget spinner in six categories. Spin time, noise, ability to take it apart or customize it, its price, the time it takes to ship to your house, and the shakiness of the spinner. So here is the spinner guys, right here. I got it for $2 off Amazon, and actually I think it's pretty good. Let's get into the categories. First up on our list is spin time. The spin time was really good out of the box. It was two minutes and 30 seconds. I timed the spinner the next day in the morning and it had gone down about 30 seconds in speed. So guys, I'm gonna spin it the same exact way I did the first time. So it's not gonna be any different. It turned out to be one minute and six seconds. That's more than halfway less than it was last time. So this thing has definitely gotten worse. It's really good out of the package. So for spin time, we're gonna rate everything out of five. I'm gonna give it a two out of five. For a $2 fidget spinner, guys, one minute and six seconds isn't that bad. So now we're moving on to our next category, which is noise. If you're wondering why noise is on this list, it's because for people that take these to school, they want to be quiet so no one notices that they're using it. This one is not the best when it comes to noise. This fidget spinner is actually really loud. It was really quiet out of the box, but unless you're going to clean it every day, like clean out the bar middle bearing every single day, it's going to be pretty loud. It just makes a really loud obnoxious noise. I put it right by the mic so you guys can hear it really well. So I have it going pretty fast. So this fidget spinner really isn't that good at all when it comes to noise. It's really loud, it makes a really, I mean, it's not an annoying noise. It's just if you want it to be quiet, this is definitely not the fidget spinner to get. I'm gonna have to give it the same rating of a two out of five. The only reason I would give it a one out of five is if it was an annoying noise. And the noise that it makes isn't really that annoying. I've seen some that make really like high pitched squealing noises. The next category is the ability to take it apart and customize it. This fidget spinner is also not going to get a good rating on that. Customizing is literally impossible unless you want to get paint or whatever you're going to customize it with. These extra bearings because these are so hard to get out. The best way to get them out is a hammer. So just the ability to get them out easily, like some, they pop out really easily. If you want to customize yours, this might not be the best one to get. The caps come off slightly easily. The best way to get them off is with a screwdriver, but you can do it with your hands. For some reason on this one, one cap comes out easier than the other, so that one pops out really easy, and then the other one doesn't come out easily at all. So the ability to customize it and take it apart is going to have to get a one on our list. It really can't be taken apart in any way besides the caps being taken off, and the ability to customize it is really hard. And now to the category that this fidget spinner is the best in, and that is price. This fidget spinner will always win in price. It's a good fidget spinner for $2. $2 is really good for fidget spinners. There's some that are extremely expensive and truly not worth your money. I would definitely go with something smaller like this, like a cheaper price of $2 like this. So for price, I would have to give this thing a five out of five. Now moving on to shipping time. The shipping time for this fidget spinner takes a long time. I'm pretty sure they're made in China and shipped from China, so that takes a long time. Plus, they're $2, so they're probably all sold out. If you get it off Amazon like I did, I don't know exactly which one it is. It's just one of the $2 ones. So I'm going to have to give it a, a 3 out of 5. It took about 2 weeks to get here, so it wasn't horrible. Probably one of the least important topics is shakiness. Shakiness is just when the finger pads kind of shake. 
whenever you spin it. This one doesn't doesn't have too much problems with shakiness. It's a little shaky, but nothing that will get really annoying. So I'm gonna have to give this a four out of five for shakiness. So that is all for this fidget spinner review. I would have to rate this fidget spinner about a three out of five. If you're really into fidget spinners and you want to get serious about them for whatever reason, this definitely is not one that you want to look into getting. You want to look into getting a little bit more expensive one. This one's just for people that want to start and get a starting fidget spinner just to mess around with and not really take good care of. It's really cheap. It's pretty good for its price. If this video hits 10 likes, I will be sure to make more fidget spinner reviews and get more fidget spinners and keep making these kind of videos. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss a video. And that's it for this review. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm at an all time.